Congressman Adam Schiff is the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee for his only interview before the committee hearing. Congressman, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie. Uh, it's good to have you here. You said yesterday uh, that there was circumstantial evidence of collusion. What's the circumstantial evidence? Well, some of it I can't go into, but uh, some of it will be discussed at the hearing today, and we'll see just how much Director Comey is willing to discuss. Uh, I was surprised to see Director Clapper make that kind of categorical statement because that's not consistent with uh, what I've reviewed. Uh, I also think in addition to that circumstantial evidence, uh, there's very direct evidence of deception, and probably the very best public example I can give you for that uh, is when Michael Flynn lied about his conversation with the Russian ambassador. And this wasn't just any conversation. This was a conversation he had about uh, the Russian response to sanctions that were imposed on Russia by President Obama over what? Over their interference in the campaign to help Donald Trump. So the question, of course, is why was he deceptive about this? Why would he lie about that conversation? Why was it necessary to fire him? Uh, these are some of the issues that we need to look into. Is it also relevant, as the president has said in a tweet, the real story that Congress, the FBI, and all others should be looking into is the leaking of classified information. Must find leaker now. Uh, you know, leaks are certainly an issue, and they've been an issue, obviously, for this president and for other presidents in the past. Uh, but I think that's, for the president, a convenient way to say, don't look at the underlying problem here. Let's just look at one of the effects uh, that has come to light, uh, the leaking problem. Uh, I think that's a bit of a dodge. Uh, you know, leaks are always an issue. But the, the real gravamen of the problem here is you had a foreign adversarial power intervene in our election, a very close election. Uh, and what our intelligence community tells us is they're going to do it again. Uh, and if we're going to protect the country, we need, need to know exactly what the Russians did, how they did it, how to protect mm -hmm. ourselves, how to protect our European allies uh, who are facing election now that the Russians are interfering in. Okay. That's a far bigger issue, I think, than the issue of leaks. Congressman, do you expect a definitive answer from, from Mr. Comey today that everyone else has shot down but President Trump, that President Obama did not wiretap Donald Trump? Uh, I do. Uh, I, I think there's every reason to expect that that's what the director is going to say. I think that's accurate. Uh, certainly that puts the director in an awkward position of criticizing the president. Uh, but it's time to put this to rest. There is absolutely no evidence to support the president's uh, baseless accusations against his predecessor. And the long this go longer this goes on, the more damage is being done. Uh, now that uh, that wrecking ball that is this false allegation has bashed into our British allies, our German allies, and it's time that we put this to rest. Congressman, some of your Democratic colleagues would like to see a subpoena of the president's tax returns as part of this investigation. Do you expect that that will happen? Uh, it's possible. I think we need to lay the framework and the groundwork and, uh, and establish the evidence that the Russians uh, use financial entanglement as a way of exerting their influence over business people, over political leaders. Uh, if the evidence leads in that direction, then I think there's a good case to be made that we need the tax returns to either corroborate or, or disprove uh, what the Russians may have been doing in terms of trying to financially entangle the Trump organization. But I don't think we're there yet. Congressman Adam Schiff, big day today. Thanks for your time. You bet. Thank you. The House is expected to vote this 